With camping season now in full swing, a timely reminder tonight about Lyme disease, a potentially serious illness spread by ticks. It's already an epidemic in the United States where they average 23,000 cases a year. Canada sees about 100 every year, but that's expected to grow. CTV medical specialist Avis Favreau takes a closer look. For Mary Delisser, it began with a tick bite and a rash from a camping trip. What appeared on my leg on the day we were leaving was this lemon-sized bullseye mark. It was the start of Lyme disease, and this is the first real-time video of the bacteria at work moving through the bloodstream. When you see them wiggling around, escaping the blood vessel, then uh, you get a very creepy kind of feeling. Scientists in Calgary have been tracking this nasty bacteria, watching as it moves from the bloodstream and burrows into brain tissue, the heart, and joints. One look at these pathogens and you'll know you don't want to get this disease. Patients often end up with heart problems, arthritis, and chronic fatigue. I lost my short-term memory. I had fever, sweating, um, pain all over my body. Summer is peak season for Lyme disease and it appears to be spreading in Canada. Their populations are uh, expanding into new areas where we haven't seen them before. Officials say infected ticks are now being found in parts of B.C., Manitoba, Ontario and Nova Scotia. But patients say there aren't enough public alerts. There are very few warnings in any province. In the U.S., there's a detailed map of high-risk regions. Nothing like that for Canadians yet. Though with the disease spreading, that may soon change. I would suspect that in the next uh, year, for sure, we'll have maps like that uh, available uh, for general viewing by the public. While Lyme disease can be treated with antibiotics, doctors say prevention is preferred, well, we avoiding well, areas with infected ticks or by wearing long pants and spraying insect repellents. Anything to stop this nasty bug from hitchhiking its way into your body and damaging your health. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.